two-thirds of the Earth are covered by water. Unfortunately, more than 97% of it isn't actually drinking water because of salt. However, the chemical difference between salt water and fresh water could be the key to an endless supply of energy. Welcome to the age of blue energy, also known as osmotic power. When rivers flow into the sea, a kind of chemical shock takes place. Around the 1950s, an American scientist theorized that a change in osmotic pressure could be turned into a source of energy. When two solutions of different concentrations are separated by a membrane, the solvent's molecules move from the area of low concentration to the area of high concentration, producing hydrostatic pressure, which is the principle of osmotic pressure. Until the 1970s, however, there was no viable way of harnessing it. That is, until Professor Loeb devised the system inspired by the River Jordan flowing into the Dead Sea, one of the most saline bodies of water in the world. This technology uses the pressure generated by osmosis to move electric turbines. When we have salt water and fresh water separated by a semi-permeable membrane, fresh water flows naturally towards the salt water chamber to the lower salt concentration. If the volume remains constant, pressure will increase, which can be used to move a turbine and in turn generate electricity. Those membranes were, nevertheless, too expensive to produce. The whole process was soon forgotten, with fossil fuels remaining the dominant energy source. Finally, 35 years later, Norway was to open a power station, operating through pressure-retarded osmosis. Sadly, it was not to be, and in 2013, it ceased operation owing to its high operating costs. In 2014, a new power station was opened, this time based on a complementary technology, reverse electrodialysis, also called RED. Each side of the membrane worked as a cathode and an anode. This meant that the osmotic process generated a certain voltage without the need of water to actually penetrate the openings. This power station still isn't commercially viable though. At last, nanotechnology broke into the scene, with a group of scientists announcing a membrane with a nanopore design that only allows salt ions to cross from one side to the other. A square meter of this membrane could potentially produce one megawatt of electricity. Also, the atomic scale of the pores means that they don't become blocked. A research concludes that tapping all the energy generated by river estuaries could cover 80% of the world's energy consumption.